U.S. Citizenship Interview Actual case with an actual applicant This questions in this interview are very easy to understand based on the actual applicant's experiences. Practice more and more and help yourself pass your interview successfully. Let's start. Mrs. Katrina Gale. Yes, it's me. Hi, I'm Immigration Officer Jason. I've been assigned to conduct your interview today. Follow me, please. Sure. Please. Put everything on the chair. Please remain standing. I'm going to swear you in. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Sit down, please. Thank you. Show me your green card, your state identification card, or your notice that you received from USCIS and your passport or any reentry permit. Thank you. How are you today? I'm good, thanks. And how about you? I am doing well. Thank you. Tell me why you are here today. I'm here for my U.S. citizenship interview. Why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? I want a better life for my son, and I really want to vote in the next election. How long have you been waiting for your interview since you filed your application? I have been waiting for around three months. Have you studied for the civics test? Yes, I've studied hard since I applied. Great. What version of the civics test did you study? I studied the 100 Official Civics Questions 2008 version. That's the correct one. Sounds like you're ready for the test. Yes, I am ready for the test. Great. As part of the naturalization process, there are a couple of things I need to do before the interview. It'll just take a few minutes. I need to take your picture and scan your fingerprints right here. Can you please move one step closer and look at the camera in front of you? Sure. All right. Now can you please place your right index finger and then switch to your left index finger on the scanner? Sure. Everything is perfect. I'm going to conduct the civics test right now. 
Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president. Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. What does the President's Cabinet do? Advises the President. Good. You passed the civics test since you got six answers correct. I'll move on to the English reading and writing tests now. We'll administer the test on this tablet. Can you see a sentence that appeared on the tablet? Yes, I can see it. Can you read that sentence out loud for me? Who was the first president? I will read a sentence. Please use a stylus to write the sentence on the tablet. Let me know if you need me to repeat. Washington was the first president. Great job. The last step, what I would like to do now is verify your information on your N-400 application. And review your background in immigration history. You swore an oath at the beginning. Do you know what it means? Yes, it means I would tell the truth. Awesome. Please tell me about yourself. My full name is Katrina Gale. My date of birth is August 18, 1988. My occupation is Retail Sales Associates. I have been a permanent resident for five years. What day did you become a lawful permanent resident? I became a lawful permanent resident on July 5, 2018. Do you have any kids? Yes, we have a son. What is your child's name? My son's name is Armando Robert. What is your son's birth date? June 2nd, 2020. Do you have your child's birth certificate with you? Yes, here it is. Thank you. Does your child live with you and your spouse? Yes, we live together. Does your child go to school now? Yes, officer. Do you have any adopted children or stepchildren? No, I don't. Okay. Can you give me your social security number? 772-456-5500. Four two three nine. Please tell me your phone number. I'm sorry, I changed my phone number two months ago. The new number is two one one five seven three nine two eight seven. 
Can you please update this for me? Yes, I'm updating it right now. Thank you. Do you have a different phone number at work? No, I don't. Do you have an email address? Yes, I have. What is your email address? k.gale18 at icloud.com What is your spouse's name? James Robert How many times has your spouse been married? He has been married once. Was your spouse born in the U.S. or a naturalized citizen? He is a naturalized citizen. What is your spouse's country of origin? He is also from Mexico. Do you know when he became a U.S. citizen? He became a U.S. citizen in 2012. You got married in the U.S.? Yes, officer. When did you get married? We got married on August 23, 2018. Did you meet your spouse in the U.S.? Yes, I met my husband in the U.S. Have you ever met your spouse before you came here? No, I haven't met him before. When did you first meet your spouse? I met him in October 2017 at Dinosaur Valley State Park in Texas. How long did you date before marrying him? About 11 months. Did you have a honeymoon after your marriage? Yes, we did have a honeymoon for 14 days. All right. What is the date of birth of your husband? December 22, 1987. Do you have your marriage certificate with you now? Yes, here it is. Thank you. What is your spouse's current job? He is a chief electrical engineer. Where is he currently working? He walks at Con Edison, New York. How long has your spouse been working there? Three years. Where did your spouse work before? He worked for that company in the Texas branch. Okay. Do you have any individual disabilities that require accommodation? No. How tall are you? I'm 5 feet 3 inches. How much do you weigh? I weigh 113 pounds. Did you get your permanent resident through a family member? No, I got my permanent resident through marriage. All right. Do your parents live here? No. My parents live in Mexico. Your parents are not U.S. citizens, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Okay, are you currently working? Yes, I am. Where do you work now? 
I work at Whole Foods in New York. You work there since January 5th, 2021 after moving from Texas, right? Yes, that's correct. What is your position? I work there as retail sales associates. Have you worked anywhere else in the last three years? No, that's it. All right. How many trips have you taken outside the United States in the last three years? I have taken one trip to Mexico in the last three years. How long have you gone on this trip? 21 days. You took that trip on February 2nd, 2023, and you returned on February 23rd, 2023. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Did you go with your spouse on this trip? Yes. He went with me. What was the purpose of that visit? We visited my parents in Mexico. Good. Did you take any trips outside the U.S. after you filed your citizenship application? No, I didn't. Okay. How do you spell your last name? G-A-I-L Do you have a middle name? No, I don't. Have you ever been known by any other names? No, I haven't. Do you want to change your name? No, I don't. Where were you born? I was born in Mexico. So you are a citizen of Mexico? Yes, it's correct. Do you have dual citizenship in other countries? No, I don't. Okay. Are you still studying in college? No, I graduated from college four years ago and I'm working now. Where did you study before? Rice University. Who supported you when you were in college? My parents supported me during the first two years and after marriage I got my husband to support me as well. All right. What is your current address? 459 South Street, Tennessee, New York 11236. Is your current mailing address the same as your home address? Yes, it is. Your spouse lives with you at the current address? Yes, we are living together. Is your current address a single house or an apartment? A single house. Do you and your spouse own this house? Yes, we own my current house. Do you have a copy of joint marriage or a property title that shows both names? Yes, I do. Here you go. How long have you lived at the current address? We lived in our current address for three years. 
What was your previous address? 7927 Glencliff Drive, Houston, Texas, 77064. Did you also live with your spouse at this address? We lived together at this address. What reason did you leave at this address? My husband was promoted and his company wants to move him to New York. So we moved there. Have you lived at any other place in the last five years? No, that's all. Did you ever serve in help or otherwise participate in a police unit? No. Have you ever been handcuffed by the police for breaking the law? No. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No, never. Have you ever been in jail or prison? No. What is a jail and a prison? Jail is such a place under the jurisdiction of a local government for the confinement. Of person waiting trial or those convicted of minor crimes. And prison means an institution under state jurisdiction for confinement of persons convicted of serious crimes. Very good. Have you ever been a member of a rebel group? Pardon me, officer. I didn't understand. Can you please rephrase the question? Have you ever worked for a group that fights a government? No, never. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? No. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No. Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. What is fraudulent? To be dishonest or intending to deceive. Were you ever part of any group unit or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? No. What is weapon? An object such as a knife, gun, or bomb. Have you ever helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? No, never. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? No. Have you ever been discharged from training or service in the U.S. Armed Forces because you were an alien? No. Have you ever been charged with committing attempting to commit or assisting in committing a crime or offense? No. Did you ever work for the military in any country? No. Do you have or did you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No. 
Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. Were you connected to a totalitarian party before? No. What is totalitarian party? Totalitarianism is a form of a government that attempts to assert total control over the lives of its citizens. Do you believe in religious freedom? Yes, I do. Were you ever involved in any torture? No. Do you understand the word torture? To cause great pain to someone. Do you file tax returns and pay taxes on time every year? Yes, I filed tax returns and paid taxes on time every year. Have you ever been a party of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with the Communist Party? No. Have you ever been in jail or prison? No. What is a jail and a prison? Jail is such a place under the jurisdiction of a local government for the confinement of person waiting trial or those convicted of minor crimes. And prison means an institution under state jurisdiction for confinement of persons convicted of serious crimes. Very good. Do you support the Constitution and former government of the United States? Yes, I do. What is the Constitution? It's the supreme law of the land. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the United States Armed Forces? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes. I am willing to. What is civilian direction? A direction from a person who is not in the military. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. I am willing to. Are you willing to take the oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I am. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. Can you explain to me what that is? It means that I promise to love my country in good times and in bad time. Good. Please turn on the tablet and review your updated application for me. I want you to make sure all of your information is correct and let me know if you find any errors. Everything looks perfect. Please sign the box on the tablet to affirm that everything you said during the interview and all of the evidence that you submitted is complete and true. Okay. One last thing. Please review the Oath of Allegiance section. Make sure you agree to all of the statements. Then you can print your name and sign and date on the tablet. Okay.
Thank you. After reviewing your background and your application, I'm glad to say that you deserve to be a U.S. citizen. Congratulation. You passed your citizenship interview. Thank you, officer. I appreciate you taking the time to review and approve my application. You're welcome. We will send you a notice for the oath ceremony within a month. You still have an important step that needs to be done to become a U.S. citizen. Make sure you attend the oath ceremony as scheduled. Do you have any questions at this point? No, I'm good. I don't have any questions. Thank you. You are most welcome. Let me walk you back to the waiting area. Thanks again.